What's going on, guys? Your boy Rome Legends back again with another video. Yes, we're back in. Welcome to He Smells Like Rome. Guys, I got a great one for you. Ah, Y'all saw the title, right? So, you guys saw my GQ fragrances. You guys saw my wife's favorite fragrances. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about some of my most masculine fragrances I have in my collection. Now, this is going to be strictly for the guys so ladies pay attention you know the holidays are coming up and if you want to get something for your man i think these are some of the best fragrances that you can get that are very masculine very appealing very manly fragrances uh, and that's not a slight to say that anyone can't wear them i just think that these smell better on me and i would never want to smell these fragrances right here on a female because it just gives that 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 ruggedness that regal almost just primal kind of vibe when it comes to man now there's elegance in here but once again these are my picks when it comes to the most masculine fragrances in my collection so if that's something you are interested in put your seatbelt on sit back relax and enjoy the vibe all right let's go the first fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is one of the most elegant fragrances I have in my collection. And also one of the most challenging fragrances in my collection that I grew to love. And I wear this, especially if I'm wearing like a three-piece suit or tuxedo. Uh, that fragrance I'm talking about is from Ormond Jane. And that fragrance is On My Man. Now, the reason I say I struggle with this fragrance is because it had a uh, note juniper berry that I was not familiar with when I first got this fragrance, probably somewhere around nine, 10 years ago. Um, but once I started to play around with the fragrance, you know, um, I remember this uh, review I saw uh, Linda Pilkington did years ago. She said something in reference to, this is James Bond in a bottle. And I was wearing this fragrance out just casually, you know, running errands or something. I didn't take the time to say, let's, you know, create the vibe, put on a nice suit, you know, wear this in an elegant setting or if you're going out on a date or if you're going, you know, somewhere where, where you feel your best, where you feel, you know, your manliest. And I remember taking my wife out to dinner and then we went out to um, a museum and I had a suit on and I, I remember wearing this and the combination of this herbal note mixed with a smidget, the smoothest, one of the smoothest foods I've ever smelled, um, combined with the green woody aspect made this fragrance shine definitely one of my favorite fragrances when it comes to wearing a suit and absolutely a fantastic masculine fragrance that will smell fantastic on you guys just give the juniper berry you know some time to kind of die down and those green notes those herbal notes will pop in and just oh, fantastic and not to mention this thing lasts forever so if you're looking for a herbal green masculine fragrance on my jane on my man is definitely one to grab all right let's go check out the next one so the next fragrance that i want you guys to pay attention to because y'all are missing out i've been talking about this fragrance for the last three years and some people um listen some people hit me up on instagram and also hear it send me a message like well i got it uh you were right that fragrance i'm talking about is from hey Ari paris and that is only for men now if the name doesn't say it already this is for the men now if you're looking for a spring slash summer fragrance I would say, check this one out. This has a beautiful, sweet Elemi note in here. It's crystallized slash almost resinous Elemi note. Now the Elemi to me always smells sweet, 
citrusy and has a underlying of spicy root. Combined with this citrus aspect that for me makes this fragrance smell like a margarita. I've said it maybe 10, 15 times. This is a margarita in a bottle. It has a bright opening, a citrus middle, and a slight vodka, almost tequila spiciness in the dry down. And for a resinous slash citrus fragrance, this thing will last eight hours easily. Get in any collection, a fantastic fragrance for men, and this is something you will definitely grab if you're going on a vacation. All right, let's go to the next one. This one, to me, I say this is one of the most masculine fragrances in my collection because it leans towards the cigar smokers or the hookah smokers or any body and and i know this is going to offend some people which it isn't meant to because women smoke cigars too women smoke hookahs also but when i smell this fragrance i'm not thinking of a female i'm thinking of me and my guys sitting at you know a uh, cigar lounge testing out some of these fruity nuance new spicy cigars or um, going into a bar and someone smoking a hookah and enjoying it, right? So that's what I'm talking about. The fragrance I want to show you guys, this one is Taraj from The Spirit of Dubai. Now, this is masculine, neat, suave. This is, to me, the guy that spends half of his life working out, trying to get his body as best as he possibly can, just to go out and meet girls. This is the Playboy fragrance. This is the one that is smoky slash fruity slash spicy. Fantastic fragrance. I'm thinking if you're looking for a fragrance to go out to the club with, this is one that will definitely turn heads because the smoky nuance, yes, that is something that the men will gravitate towards but the dry fruit spiciness is what's going to get the women watching looking paying attention asking what you wearing or one or just wanting to be in your presence um no i don't think that a female couldn't wear this but i think that if you wear this as a female in my opinion you might be a little self-conscious this is the most smoothest suave masculine fragrance i can think of when it comes to smoky meets fruity all right, Taraj from The Spirit of Dubai, you gotta grab it. One of the best masculine fragrances in my collection. Let's go to the next one. Here is one of the, um, I would say one of the most versatile men fragrances I've ever had the pleasure of coming across. And I say that to say this, when we think of man, when you think of a manly fragrance, when you think of something that is just confident, right? You want something that smells clean. You want something that smells uh, rich. You want something that smells decadent and commands your attention, right? Not everybody, but I think most of you would agree with me. And I think this fragrance puts out all of that. This is Lavish from Bodicea Victorious. Now, Lavish has just been re-released. Um, so those who didn't get the opportunity to smell this fragrance, just to give you a little backstory, it was a US exclusive with two other fragrances. I know one was called Heron and the other ones escapes my mind. I'll put the name up there. But this was one of the fragrances that I consider to be very versatile. Wear it in the office, wear it in the gym, wear it on vacation, wear it on the date. It just is fantastic. It has citrus notes, it has a woody mid, and it has almost a leathery meets 
herbal slash citrus dry down. I'm going to do a full review on this fragrance. I didn't want to give everything away. I just want you to know that when you're talking about a fragrance that is versatile and just screams man, lavish is that. Look for my full review coming up very soon. Um, there are plenty of reviews out right now, but I'm going to give you my take on it. All right. Lavish, one of the best versatile masculine fragrance on the planet. All right, let's go to the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I wanted to give you, you know, some fragrances that really aren't showcased, right? Everybody has their opinion on what masculine is. Everybody has their opinion on what, what manly is, right? And if you get offended by that, that's a personal problem. I think that it's good to smell like a man. I think it's good to smell like a female. I like when I walk through a, a, a room and a beautiful floral sweet uh, nuance come across because that does make me think of a female. And I want to know who that is that's wearing it because I want to buy that for my wife because I want her to smell just as good as that. So I say the same thing about men fragrances. There's, a, a, there's room for all, you know, uh, masculine, feminine, and also unisex. I don't think anybody's going to argue with that. But I just feel like this this video might, you know, like ruffle a little feathers. I'm okay with that. Um, but I hope you guys once again are enjoying these fragrances I'm putting out for you guys. Next up, the fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is definitely a regal fragrance. It was actually made for a prince. So you can't get more, you know, regal than that. And this is one of the more elegant masculine fragrances and that fragrance i'm talking about is from kriegler this is oud for highness hands down the most refined oud fragrance i've ever smelled I put a pretty good dent in this fragrance, if you can see already. That's how much I enjoy wearing it. But I have reserved this fragrance strictly for when I'm going out with my wife, New Year's, or some just special occasion. I, I don't know how else to say it, but I will never wear this fragrance out unless I'm doing something special. That's how gorgeous it smells. One of the rarest, most elegant, smoothest oud fragrances you'll ever get your nose on. It has hints of sweetness, soft, more, I guess, how can I say it? I'm not going to say, uh, it's, yeah, mysterious. The, the, the oud note is very mysterious in this because it, it's not your barnyard oud. This is definitely, like I said, more smooth, refined Asian oud notes. And, oh, guys, get your nose on this. It is definitely an expensive fragrance, an expensive investment, but hands down, one of the best, one of the most elegant masculine fragrances you'll get your nose on. Oud for Highness from Kriegler. Fantastic fragrance. All right, let's go to the next. All right, guys, I know you guys saw my last video. Um, it was maybe a few videos ago when I talked about um, Eric Hill um, introduced me to this fragrance. And I could not not have this fragrance in the collection. Um, just letting you guys know, this fragrance is hard to find. You, it's still available. You can still find it in places. But I think it was discontinued. But... I don't care. That's how good this fragrance is. I need y'all to find it. This is what my channel is about. Getting the unique fragrances, taking the time, search for it. Trust me, you'll thank me later. This is Duetto from Suspero. Pink pepper, black pepper, spices, and without any argument, the darkest most potent rose note I've ever come across. 
Now, wait, y'all say wrong. You said rose. Whoa, wait a minute. You said masculine fragrances. I dare you. I dare you to find a more masculine fragrance than this right here with a rose note. You, you can't. You're not. You're not going to find one. There is nothing that can compare to the ruggedness, the alpha male like smell when it comes to this fragrance combining the spices with the rose nothing and on top of this thing lasts 24 hours easily i don't know why this is discontinued so sparrow y'all need to bring this thing back out hopefully you guys do but duetto from susperto one of the most masculine fragrances in my collection and if I can get a backup bottle of this, I will. I'm going to try my best to find it because I can't tell how much is left in here. It's probably 50 mil. All right. Let's go on to the last one. So the last fragrance I want to talk to you guys about that I think is the, the epitome of masculinity. One of the fragrances that I consider to be um, just one of the best barbershop style fragrances I've ever come across. You know that fragrance when you wear, when you just got a good shave, a good haircut, or in my case, you know, shaved your head? That spray that they spray you with the oak moss, you know, with the lavender, it just makes you feel good. It makes you, you know, just alive. This is the fragrance I think does that every single time I wear it. And this is actually going to be my scent of the day. This is from MBCI, and this is... Shipra Palatin. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I'm spraying this on right now because I'm definitely wearing this today. Y'all. Mmm. Chipra at its best. How can, how can I say this where it comes across? This is Eddie Murphy in Boomerang Swab. This is Frank Sinatra, you know, Vegas, you know, Swab. This is Idris Elba you know, alpha male type fragrance we talking about. This is, wait a minute, this is Rome, he smells like Rome in a bottle. The lavender, the plum, the oak moss like smell, the aftershave, and I think this has patchouli in it. It just comes across so damn masculine. I cannot stress this enough. Think about when you were in your 20s or in your teens, when you went to go get a haircut. If you were born or you were raised in the 90s, why are you even say the early 2000s? If you were in your teens, your 20s around that time, and you was in that barber chair, everybody talking, playing chess, you know, got the music on, talking about the football game or the boxing match, and you smell, you know, the oak moss, you smell the lavender, you smell the alcohol, this is that in a bottle. Get it. I'm telling y'all, you won't regret it. Now, I'm talking to the new guys. I know you guys have been watching for a minute. Y'all know about this joint right here. But for you guys that just started your niche fragrance journey, listen to me. This is a must-have fragrance if you're looking for a masculine fragrance. All right, I'm not going to talk about it no more. I don't want to beat your head. I'm not trying to convince you. I just want to let you guys know. If you don't get it, it's more for me because I'm getting the back a bottle of this joint right here. All right, that's my number one fragrance. My number one masculine fragrance in my collection. I got more. I might do a number two of this, but these are the best of the best. 
Let me know what you guys have as your masculine fragrance in your collection. Comment down below if you have any of these fragrances. I'm going to put a link with all these fragrances um, uh, down below. Let's have a conversation. Also, do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. It's free. You'll only be helping my channel out. And when you help my channel out, I get y'all more fragrances. All right? I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Y'all my peoples, my smell good guys. All right, I'm done. Until next time. Like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, peace. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah.